Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to the Mortal Anatomy. Today we have Abel. What's up, dude? <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for making the time for us. Thank Hell you for yeah. hitting me up uh, via email. Uh, this is going to be a treat for us. So tell us, man, what do you drive? All right. So by Vin this is a 1999 Acura Integra automatic. So it was automatic before. It is not automatic now. So you wanted to be automatic. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, hit the D and just, that's it. Now you go one, yeah. turn, two, three, and then two. That's when That's when you're trying to race, though. You're trying to, <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's I'm the, doing it wrong. Yeah, four horsepower. So tell us, man, how long have you uh, owned it, and uh, why did you pick it up? Okay, so I bought this car in January of last year, and I got it because I already was already, I'm not even going to tell you. You'll see when you pop the hood. But uh, I built the car. I didn't like the way that it was coming out. I got ready to do paint and there was too many imperfections in the body. So I shit canned my 95 Civic Coupe. Oh yeah, I cussed, we'll edit that out. We don't want to get you demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> but I had all the parts ready. So this part, it was already 95% complete for this car. And then I needed another shell. So I found this one on Craigslist. The guy wanted like 25, I talked him down to it. Picked it up as in Highland, so it was super local. Vin's matching. Picked it up and then stripped the car, built it in my driveway. It took about a month. Uh, a previous Integra, why not get rid of it and go with something else? Why go pick up the same car? Okay, so I've been, since I've been starting building cars, buying Hondas, it's been Civic Integra, Civic Integra, Civic Integra in my entire life. So my brother Chris and Will, not really my brothers, but I've known these guys forever. So, but they always had Integras. That's all they build is Integras. Okay. Build it and just from seeing them, I was like, See if we can shake things up a little bit. So I was like, well, let me see if I can find an Integra. And the Vogue Silver, it stuck with me. I love the color. My daily is a four door, it's silver. And the color is just so easy to keep clean and it just looks really lazy. good. just lazy, that's why. You yeah. don't wanna wash the car. Hell yeah, super lazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, exactly. I didn't wash it. I haven't washed this car in a year. We were just talking about that. I haven't washed it in a year. <laughs> it's spray wax only. But yeah, no, I just, I love the aesthetics. And working at Acura, it just, it made sense. Like, I don't have to go back to Honda and get parts. Like, I just order everything at work and pick it up before I leave, so. And so what was your vision for this car when you picked it up? Exactly what it is now with the little minor tweaks. Like, obviously I want to fix like some paint and get it done and just have it nice and clean. But simplicity and reliability is. Simplicity and reliability. Exactly. So like you look at it and there's no, it, there's no BS. It's, you know, you see it and it is what it is and it functions the way that it's supposed to function. Well, tell us a little bit about the front end. Um, what do you have going on? Bone stock front end. I did swap out the corners. The went with like amber corners, super eBay, whatever. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, the ones that were on it were chipped and busted just from being old. When I originally got the car, it did come with the front. It's a OEM ITR lip. It's not a replica. Oh, um, nice. That did need some TLC on it. It came and it, the silver did not match the silver on the car. Mm. It was like primer silver. <laughs> but I mean, I'll put in the elbow grease. I didn't mind in the fact that I thought it was like a rep. I'm not going to lie. And I took off the front bumper to replace something. I looked at the bottom and it was an ST7 part number and it had tabs on it. And I was like, well, that nice. works. Yeah, it works for me. You were happy that Yeah, way. yeah. Come up number one right there for sure. But uh, yeah, other than that, then I, I, I'm in the process. I want to debadge the car. I already debadged the rear, but I want to shave it. So I had an extra Acura, extra Honda emblem, I'm sorry. The Acura one that I had had like a chip on it to see if you see like that little swoop swoop on the bumper. Like mm -hmm. I guess the guy bumped into something originally, but the Acura logo looked more like a Star Trek logo. So I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it, put in, I'll put a Honda H on there right quick. What are the future plans for the front? Uh, I, I got a guy that comes in and uh, he does all of our paint repairs and plastic fixes on all of our used cars at work. So I'm gonna have him redo the, the damage on the front bumper. But pretty much other than that, it's all gonna stay bone stock. And, and you're keeping a USDM. Tell me a little bit about that. USDM front for the win, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got the title for the video. <laughs> there we go. But uh, yeah, so uh, just like I was telling him before, I had the car and it was sitting in my garage in the place that we were living before, they were doing maintenance on a roof and they damaged my driver's side fender it was like a football sized dent so at that point in time i was on the verge of pulling the trigger and going j front and uh steve from h motors actually had one that was coming in in the silver for matching the car but i couldn't pull the trigger oh. i was too i was too committed to the front end i really liked it but it was a more of i was really frustrated at the time mm -hmm. and i just didn't want to see that damn dent because the car was already done right and i was ready to get in like it was like you know final first drive like let me take it out and then this happens, you know what I'm saying? I got a replacement fender. I got two of them. One of them I do need to repaint. 
But uh, yeah, USDM front for the win. I, I love the the two eye look. Super clean. So then, uh, tell us a little bit about your suspension. What do you what do you have going on? Okay, so I am running YSR dynamic suspensions, a thirty two way or a thirty three way adjustable. Nice. Um, when I was looking for a suspension, I'm, I have really weird luck with like sourcing parts for some reason. I don't know why. It just it is what it is. So like certain things I can't find, certain things I can find, and I was specifically looking for ITR suspension, so I need rear eyelids. So there's companies that make them, I don't know if Function of Form makes them, I'm pretty sure they do, but a lot of the companies, they make them for the standard DC2 suspension, so it's the fork style. And if you wanted the rear eyelet, it's like an, uh, like an extra part, you gotta get like K-Tune does it, so you can get like the full solid drop-in fork style, but if you wanted the eyelet, it's you'd have to buy the extra bottom pieces, like another 50 bucks. But YSR had them and they sold them with the eyelets. It was an option, so you okay. just get them from factory like that. But yeah, I love them. Uh, was it 12K front, 8K rear, nice. 33-way adjustables. Um, the brand, I don't know if many people actually know about the brand, but I mean, I like them. The car rides good, so. What are the suspension pieces? Uh, I have a ITR front sway bar, hard race in links. It's a 36 millimeter ITR front and rear brakes. So they're converted all the way around. Beautiful. Uh, I am running, what is it, energy suspension, bushings front and rear. I do want to swap them out. I kind of want to go hard race. Something like an OE Impressin style, just because I know the energy suspension after a while, they do kind of like oval out just because it's poly. So it's just the vibration is going to cause the bolts to like make an oval pattern. So I, I, like, I like hard race. They sell the full kit, but that's like eventually down the line. Something right. mixed for like a little street track use. Um, rear. Uh, stock, pretty much it's all stock for the rear with the, the ITR rear lower control arms. Brand new. Brand new? Yeah, I work at Acura, so I was like, the ones that I had the bushings were done and you can't press new bushings in them, so they're not that expensive. They're like, my price is like 60 bucks a side, so. That must be nice. Yeah, dealer parts. Hit me up, I'll take care of you. <laughs> they will. <laughs> we're gonna add your email or something. They yeah, will hit there you. There you go. Um, Tell us about the wheel and tire setup. What do you got going on? Uh, I have fake wheels. Rotomasters for sure. No, um, I was I was debating. I was going to put my USD and my TR wheels on, but my tires were done. The car walks on the freeway, so it's not safe. So I have these ones. Uh, they're just regular Rota slip streams, uh, 16 by 7s, 40s in the front, 45 in the rear. Uh, I do have real lug nuts holding the fake wheels on though. <laughs> so the real spoon, real spoon lug nuts. It won't, it won't help when the whole wheel breaks. That's, a, that's okay, I get some sort of cool factor points. No, I mean, I, I like them, they, they look pretty nice. Yeah, they're, they're good for now. I eventually want to swap up and get something. I'm just on the, I'm on the fence with what I want and right. what I can find. I would really, really love some Regas, even some SW388s, but my pockets aren't that deep, so. I mean, I'll, right, but then we're gonna see the engine, and then it's kind of like, yeah, Are you sure? yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and then you see where all my money went, and you're just like, oh, you cheap bastard. So, Sounds like it. Yeah, cool, but man. yeah, but no, I mean, everything it, it's functional and it looks good the way that it is so far. When it gets something to be annoying, then I'll I'll, I'll change it. But as of right now, she she happy, she happy. All right, where the magic happens, the cockpit. Tell us, man, what, what are we staring at? Okay, so everything's pretty much all, no, it's not even stock, I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I have uh, Type R, <laughs> Type R front seats. Um, I wanna say they came out of an EK because there's three bolt pattern, so not all four of them bolt down, so I, I'm not 100% sure, and I don't wanna tell you that they're from an Integra Type R. So they are Type R Recaros, USDM ITR rear seats, um, SIR, uh, sorry, SIR steering wheel with uh, my little AutoZone steering wheel cover i just i love those things and uh jdm itr cluster that we got from one of your other previous uh views mr jimmy, jimmy, jimmy. yeah i got a k-tuned no cut shifter setup with a k20 mart shift knob that's a cat man for those of you that don't know itr door panels and i did the little gauge uh, the the bezel swap that took a lot of trimming to get that to fit most of the time the carbon fiber ones because they're they're oblong they're angled differently you got to like chop and screw it so but yeah h motor supplied the door panels thank you steve stock floor mats those came with the car i was super excited this is one of the other reasons <laughs> i bought it it had all four floor mats i didn't have to go to the junkyard and try to find them but yeah keep it super simple Super clean, man. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Thank you.
what are the future plans for the interior? That you're looking at it, man. That's it? Yeah. That's if it. I can find another set of like OEM floor mats, I would love the Integra ones. I'd take a set of Type R's if they're like the black checkered, but those are. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're talking dollars on dollars, but I, I mean, the regular Integra floor mats are perfectly fine for me. If I can find like a cleaner driver and passenger, I'll take it. But as of right now, I'm not gonna be picky. It's beautiful, dude. Come on. Well, that escalated. <laughs> <laughs> So, Abel, what are we looking at, man? Okay, so this is a K20A Type R swap from uh, Type R in Japan, obviously. Um, I think it was like an 05 model, not 100% sure. I do have paperwork, came with paperwork, so it's not a sketchy swap. Um, other than that, RBC manifold. I do have the Skunk 2 thermal gasket, Skunk 2 thermal gasket right there, K uh, the K Tune Spacer, 70 mil Skunk 2 throttle body. Uh, pretty much an air intake that I decided to fab up and jimmy rig in my garage just because I needed something to work. Uh, it does have a rye wire engine harness, AM fuel rail, Hasport port swap mounts. That's a Grams FPR. Uh, pretty much everything is where it needs to be. I did do the, the EP3 idler pulley. It looks super clean. I don't want to go with any of those other bolt-in kits. I've seen people that ran them and ran into issues with bolts snapping and yeah, I just didn't want to go that route. So working at Honda, might as well just go OEM, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little discount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta love discounts, but yeah. How's the motor, stock? Yeah, bone, st internally bone stock, bone stock. That's exactly the way I like it. It does have like a stage two six putt clutch, but other than that, I haven't, I haven't cracked it open. And tranny stock, everything stock. Yeah, all stock, all stock. Beautiful. Koyo Rad Radiator, K-Swap version for the Integra specifically. Um, so they, tell us about that, what does that mean? Uh, so Koyo Rad has a radiator that's specifically for the Integras with the K-Swap chassis. Um, when I was searching for radiators, like the EGs has a little bit more of a, like a support for the radiator selection. Mm -hmm. Like you can get, you know, like the half size ones, but the Integras have like the two point mounts because it's a full size from factory. So you can go with like the, the rye wire one or the speed factory, but I didn't really want to tuck it. I wanted something that like went in and I found the Koyo Rad one and it was just like, let me see all the research that I can get on it. And then I was like, yeah, this is, this is gonna be a good, good idea. And it's a cross flow. So the way that the, the coolant flows is different than a regular one. So it helps the cooling and I love this fucking radiator. This Koyo Rad is, those guys, those guys, yeah, they know what they're doing for sure. You replace every little piece in this, huh? For the most part, all of the hardware, any of the bolts that you see are pretty much brand new, brand new. Just because all the other ones are all corroded and like, if you see like the ones on the fuse box and stuff like that, right. or like the battery tied out. And if I could get it new, I try to get it new. Just make my life a little bit easier and not have to like clean anything. Yeah, spoon, uh, OG old, old spoon cap for the oil. I do need to get a new one. So don't knock me because it's fading. <laughs> no, we like old. Yeah, yeah. Fading parts, we don't mind it. Yeah, that's one other thing I need to do. I need to acquire as many actual real spoon parts as I possibly can. What kind of power are we looking to get? Um, are, you, are you trying to add more power or are you, you say you still need to tune it? What's your goal for this? Okay, so from factory on paper, they say that the swap's supposed to make what, like 220 stock. That's what the car made. So I'd be happy if I tune it and I get anything around that. I'm not gonna like nitpick it and be like, oh man, I need like 250, 260. So right. it's, you know, it's, I want reliability over horsepower. So if I can get like 210 tuning it, even at like a low number, mm -hmm. I'll take it. As long as I can turn the car on and it runs good. And go. yeah. yeah, and it goes, I'll take it. That's a win for me, super win. What is the color of the valve cover? Because I know a lot of people are going to be wondering that. Monte Carlo Blue Pearl, S2000 color. Love it. Yeah, I spent probably a good couple hours just looking at different colors that I wanted to paint. I was looking at the Adoratic, I think it's Ad Adoratic Blue Pearl for the Integras, but I haven't seen one and I can't really figure out like the color. I know it's like a dark blue. I just wanted to see if it shifted or not. And I found the Monte Carlo on a picture on Google 
And I was like, I need that paint code. Went and got a couple of cans made, and now I have a Monte Carlo Blue Pearl valve cover. Down, down, down the road, would mm -hmm. you still be staying uh, NA? Yeah, yeah, NA for the win. That, that I, I'm not really big on forced induction. The only other route that it goes is probably like a Jackson Racing Supercharger kit. I love the wine, power on tap, it's just like just throttle. But I mean, that's, that, that would be like a, probably a different setup. I don't know if I would do it on this specific one, but as of right now, just the RBC and the N, just the NA, that's, that's what I want. That's, that's more than enough. Yeah. I just wanted something clean, stock-ish. So it's like uh, the guy from LHT does a OEM Plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, we'll go with OEM Plus. Super Plus Plus, yeah. yeah. What kind of exhaust system do you have? All right, so it's a, it's a PLM header that I put like a Marmon flange on. So it's like a turbo style flange, not necessarily a V-band, but it kind of like sits in, it fits like the exact same. And then it's just right, two and a half stainless piping all the way back to a Tanabe Touring Medallion. Well, thank you so much, man, for taking the time and sharing a little bit about your car. Oh, most definitely, no problem. Um, I know you, you did touch base on some of the future plans, like shaving it uh, and things like that. Anything else that you may have forgotten about? And uh, shout outs. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much just paint. I just want to get the car to look a little bit more pretty. I mean, but that's later on down the line. The main thing is I gotta do the windshield. The windshield's got a, it's pitted and it's got a crack on I it. I cannot see the crack. You show me, but I still can't see it. Yeah, it's I know, I know it. I know it's there. Picky. Yeah, I know it's there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, do the windshield, a couple of little other things and then get the car ready for paint. But you know, that's, I got, I got all the time in the world for it. So all it's right. not like I need anything soon. Um, biggest shout out, my lady Michelle for putting up with all my BS and dealing with this car. <laughs> I love it. For like, just not even this car specifically, for like, the, the we'll, we'll talk we'll talk this whole build from like beginning to end in probably like the last five years. So <laughs> she is definitely my financial advisor for sure. So if I need to get a part, I'm like, hey. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, her, my buddy Will, Chris, just for being the inspiration and making me get an Integra. I'll give him that credit. I'm gonna take it away from him, but yeah. No, just being surrounded by him, man, anybody is pretty much like helped me with knowledge and like all the forums back in the day, but yeah. Well, man, I'm, thank you for reaching out to me. It was a oh, pleasure thank you, thank this you. morning. Hell yeah. Um, Let's go get some breakfast. We will get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you already know me. Um, but uh, this car is just beautiful. I love the silver and black. And uh, yeah, just keep it the way it is, super sleeper mode, man. It's just like, you wouldn't think so. so. Exactly, see, you don't even know until you pop the hood and you're just like, oh, was not expecting that. <laughs> We're expecting automatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep them guessing. Thank you so much, Ava, I appreciate your time, man. No problem, man. Man, is you all dancing shit? <laughs> I'm cold, I'm trying to stay warm. <laughs> What do you mean you're cold? This is not as cold as over there. It's actually colder here than it was when I came out of the house this morning. I was like, it's oddly warm. Really? I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm not even gonna need a jacket. And then like I got down here and I rolled the window down, I stuck my hand, I was like, I'm a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah,